Ni hao, or hello. Christy and I often get asked this question, and it's kind of a weird one, but the question that we get asked most often is, where's the best Chinese in the Smokies? It's a funny question, you might say, but we've got the place here for you today because their rank, at least as far as we're concerned, is in the name. This is China One. China One is located at 739 Dolly Parton Parkway in Sevier. In the Food City Shopping Center. Let's go inside. Ladies first. As you walk into China One, you will find the entry foyer where you pick up to-go orders. And they've also got the today's special board just before you enter the single dining room which is beautifully decorated in traditional Chinese decor with tables and booths. I'm ready to get my Chinese on. Yes. We got one of the chef's special rolls, which is the pink lady. It's spicy king crab meat, mango. It's topped with salmon and avocado. And then it has a mango dressing with soy pepper. All right, I'm ready to get my sushi on. Gotta add a little bit of wasabi and some ginger to my soy sauce. Do you use wasabi and ginger with your sushi and your soy sauce? Do you eat sushi? I guess is the question. All right, we've got a nice big piece there. You can see that avocado and I think yes. we've got crab in there. That does look good. I'm gonna just do a little dip. I don't like a lot of the soy. I just dunk a little bit. Expert use of chopsticks, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Okay, so this, it's like a, a sauce. I think it's a mango sauce. Mango and soy pepper, yes. That's incredible. Wow. I'll try the chopstick for that. <laughs> Twirling the chopstick? <laughs> okay, so that's really fresh and yummy. And no fishiness whatsoever to that okay. salmon. And yeah. of course, it's the crab sticks that's in there, which is the imitation crab, but it's still yummy. Yes. But that sauce, that's delicious. You're gonna like that one. Okay. All right, Brooksy baby. You are not as proficient with the chopsticks nope. as I am. Nope. As a matter of fact, and with my arthritis, this can get a little rough, but so, I always try. Hey, we're gonna give it a shot. I always He's give it a shot. It's actually been improving. I His always chopstick method. You may have to give a tutorial on this. I will. And you should. You, you do it the crisscross way. Huh? We can have them make you the kitty chopsticks where you put the little. Yes. I'm butchering. You may that. have to um, abandon mission and use a fork. I may have to use my fork. It's funny. Do you have a fork? I did. I, oh, I've got it here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to dip just a little bit in the soy as well. Truthfully, that doesn't it's beautiful. need soy. It's just really good on its own. It's beautiful. Mm. There's mango inside. Yeah. And with the avocado and the salmon on top. Oh, very fresh, but you're right. That mango soy pepper dressing that's on there. That's awesome. I've never had that before. Truly amazing. Yeah, so very the good. pink lady is a success. Awesome. And we also, for appetizer, we got the uh, shumai dumplings, which are filled with seafood and a sweet chili sauce on the side. Mm. 
love you have seafood shumai and they look like a little meat the ball only uh -huh. I think I'm, I don't know if that's a wrapping or a breading I think that it's is a, a, wrap. a wrapping it's a wonton so there's seafood in there and then there's a red pepper chili sauce Thai, yeah Thai chili yummy oh wow what are you tasting in there? I'm tasting seafood and I'm tasting like scallions and onions. Yep. That's about it. That's good. I don't know what kind of seafood's in there, but I'm assuming some shrimp. <laughs> yes. Maybe some, I don't know, but they're good and they're crispy and crunchy on the outside. And the, the filling on the inside is very good. And Traditionally I, steamed, I but I think those are fried. I don't know that we've, we've like ordered that. these before. We have not. I would definitely go in for another one. Okay. Yummy, and yummy. so the, the Thai chili sauce is nice? Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, good deal. Twirling the chopsticks already. <laughs> and now, a Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun History Lesson. So some interesting facts about Chinese food. For one, rice is the most eaten food in the world, the number one staple in the world as far as food goes. Uh, there are over, approximately, over 45,000 Chinese restaurants in the U.S. That is more than McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King combined. thought that's interesting. And then also, Chinese restaurants are the most Googled cuisine, the most Googled food in the world. And they began here in the U.S. during the gold rush in the 1850s. So I got the Singapore Chow Mai Fun, and it's got the Mai Fun noodles, which are a thin rice noodle. And this has pork, chicken, shrimp, and veggies. And the main flavor base is gonna be a uh, yellow curry. All right, so Singapore Chow Mai Fun is something that I grew up eating a lot uh, for, as a kid. My mom and dad loved it, and so it's sort of translated into my adult life. And um, we like curry, you know, curry flavor. So if you like an Indian yellow curry, you would like this. Um, so a little chopstick lesson here. So I take the chopsticks and I put it between my thumb and my pointer finger on the bottom and then my pointer finger my thumb holds it and you just go like that so that's how i hold them do you use chopsticks and do you use them like this or do you have a different method let us know in the comments so would you say that this is your favorite dish here um i have a lot of things that i like here this is our go-to uh for chinese in the county it's your county in the smokies but um, seeing more chow my fun is something I just like. I just like, and they they do do it well here. So yes, fix that bite so it's not quite so crazy. Okay, it's a crazy bite, <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not. good. <laughs> mm. Got like Chinese spaghetti going on there. All right, it gets the chopstick twirl because it really is perfect. We asked for a little bit of spice, but not gonna, you know, light your mouth on fire, and you can get it very spicy if you like it that way. But the curry for me and the Singapore Chow Mai Fun here is just enough. You get that curry flavor, but it's not gonna overwhelm you. And then of course you've got chicken and the roast pork here, shrimp, good sized plateful, but it's yumminess and then you've got your bok choy vegetables so I love it for me I love the house special egg foo young here white rice comes on the side it's got the gravy and you see we're pouring the gravy over it because that gravy is so umptious it's so good but the egg foo young is the house special it has shrimp pork and beef inside and of course white rice white sticky rice with the house special egg foo young and I always add a little bit of soy 
even do this. I do add a little bit of soy to my egg foo young. And by the way, Kiko man, there's no other way to go. I say Kiko man. <laughs> I say Kiko man. I think it's Kiko, Kiko man. man. Kiko man or Kiko man? What do you say? White rice is white rice, right? White rice is white rice. You need to get some meat and some eggs on there. <laughs> they give you a nice sized portion of that egg foo young. And I like their, their chicken based gravy. Egg foo young is definitely my favorite Chinese dish. And the house special egg foo young here. Yeah. Look at this. It's got all the goodness in it. It has all the goods in it. So. You can see. Yeah, very nice. Everything inside there. Gravy, very good. Now, something I like about uh, China One is they don't use MSG that I've ever found, and their food is spiced nicely without being too salty. Mm. So it is fried, but it has more of a roasted flavor which is something that I really enjoy about it. And the gravy is just, it's a hearty gravy. And also, something that we should mention here, the food comes out really fast and yeah. really hot. We had everything in like eight minutes. Yeah, so it's well worth it. This is also our place to go just for Chinese takeout. We'll come and get this on a Friday night watching SmackDown with John. It's just, like I said, China One, number one here in the Smokies. And don't confuse it. <laughs> with with number one Chinese, which is on uh, Winfield Dunn Parkway, Highway 66. Do totally not confuse different. it. Yeah. Completely different setup. If you want to come sit down and have great Chinese, China One. For takeout. Yes. Guys, look at that big old shrimp sticking out of that house special egg foo young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen such a big shrimp in an egg foo young. As a fun side note, of course, we've got to conclude with final thoughts and fortune cookies. Fortune cookies, there are three billion produced every year. <laughs> yes. I just want to know, is today my lucky day? Is today your lucky day? I don't know. Once or actually twice in a row I had a fortune cookie where I swear the guy at the fortune cookie factory was flirting with me because it said someone thinks you are beautiful and this was before Brooks BC so let's get this BB before BB. Brooks oh right before Brooks <laughs> oh oh this is so funny y'all I'm not even kidding <laughs> I have to show this Someone you admire is watching you from afar. Show that. So that's almost. <laughs> that's hilarious. That is. All right. Maybe so. it's the same guy. <laughs> that's just so funny. So uh, for China One, uh, my final thoughts are this is a go-to. This is a local favorite. Locals don't get mad at us for sharing. Uh, the spot, um, it stays busy, especially for takeout. Um, tonight's dinner was really, really good. They had an amazing take on their single war chow my fun tonight. The curry flavor was wonderful. It was rich. It was delicious. The meats were great. And um, we've never had the shumai dumplings before. And those were really, really good. And the pink lady... Uh, sushi roll. Oh my. I would definitely get that again. So it was really, really good. Um, that's about it. Um, when I think of Chinese as a kid, it was chop suey. Did your mom make chop suey? My mom made chop suey. And she'd always use those canned, um, canned noodles. Lachoy noodles on the top. So yeah. um, as a kid, that was kind of uh, Chinese. Um, until we, you know, would go to the restaurant once in a while. But that's my final thoughts for China One. It is our favorite here in the Smokies. There are others um, we have tried, and they don't compare. So that's about it. So what do you want to talk about? I want to see if someone's flirting with you on your fortune cookie. <laughs> or no, maybe I'm, I don't know. That was so weird. It, that is but I literally talked about that story, and then there's another one that's similar. Okay, somebody's definitely watching us. Are we winning the Powerball? 
No. No? Okay. Treat yourself to a special time this coming weekend. Oh. Well, if it was next weekend, I would be doing that. Well, this weekend is Easter, so I'd say that's a special time. Well, spe- and we're going to have a special time with family. That's right. I have, so I'm having a special time the next two weekends, so that's very awesome. I like that. You're very fortunate. Very fortunate. I'm a fortunate son. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, in order for your fortune to come true, you're supposed to eat your fortune cookies. That's so right, and I will eat mine when we're finished. Yes. Uh, also... Chopsticks. Did you know that there's 80 billion made every year? How much is that? 80 that, billion. Can you 80 imagine billion. there's 80 billion people using chopsticks? No, there's not that many people in the world. Oh. Well, 80 guess, billion pairs. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, math, you had a moment is, math is not my forte. Math. Math is hard. Yeah. I've always said that. <laughs> So what I want to know is, is Christy uh, asked the question about uh, chop suey. I want to know if you have a favorite go-to Chinese dish. I want to know what that is. For me, it is the egg foo young. For Christy here, it's the Singapore chow mai fun. But I want to hear from you in the comments. I want to, I want you to let us know. Uh, the shu mai, seafood shu mai, we've never had that here before, and that was actually awesome. It was right on point. Uh, most of the time, shumai dumplings are steamed. These were fried, but I actually like the texture yeah, of that better. Yeah, the crispiness was nice. The crispiness with that sweet Thai chili sauce was really nice. Um, everything, egg foo young, the gravy on the egg foo young here is excellent. How special, it's always so good. I did try Christie's uh, chow mai fun, which is really good. That excellent curry base. It is, this is the local place for Chinese in the Smokies, if you want good Chinese. China One is your place. Located right here on Dolly Parton Parkway next to Food City in Sevierville. You're going to love it. We know that. If you want to see more of these local places that we love to go to, we want you to like the video, hit that like button, smash it for us, and of course subscribe to the channel for further updates on all things Smokies. We love having you guys. And make sure that also you hit that ringy dingy they have a notification bell every time somebody walks in and it goes off a lot here <laughs> yes that way you guys know every time we've got new content posted but for now brooks and christy here signing off saying from china one i don't know how to say goodbye in sayonara Chinese. oh sayonara aha or maybe sayonara. that's japanese i don't know we're not sure but sayonara for now <laughs> Either way, God bless you, we love you, and we can't wait to show you what's next. God bless y'all. As always, we post the menu here at the end where you can pause or freeze the screen to take a closer look.